All right, let's talk about the DJI Osmo 360. You've probably already seen the image shared by Igor Bogdanov. Yep, this one. It shows the Osmo 360 itself and what suspiciously looks like the new Mic 3. Um, but we'll save that mic stuff for another video. Let's keep this one focused. Now, that selfie stick, pretty sure it's the one that's going to be part of the adventure bundle or whatever catchy name DJI slaps on it, or it could be the battery extension bar that was leaked earlier by Jasper Ellens through Drone XL. but the one in Igor's image doesn't quite match. It looks like a solid battery grip, similar to what you'd find on pro gimbals or handheld shooters. The casing is thicker, more like a power bank with control buttons, optimized for balance plus durability, so this one's likely just the regular extension rod, but I could be wrong. Anyways, when you attach the actual battery bar, the Osmo 360 is rumored to shoot up to 180 minutes of 8K at 30fps. Take it off, and you're down to about 100 minutes and it can wirelessly charge the camera while you shoot. That's slick. Now here's where it gets exciting. Take a closer look at how the camera is mounted on the stick. The positioning suggests something kinda wild. It might be able to shoot two completely different perspectives at the same time. Like, one lens filming what's in front of you, and the other capturing your face. No more reframing a 360 degree video just to get a shot of your reaction. DJI could just say, hey, here are both feeds, already synced, clean, and ready to post. No need to jump into editing software and wrestle with keyframes for an hour. That's huge. It's like they're trying to merge traditional 360 cams with creator-first smart cams. And it actually makes sense. DJI has always been clever with software. Look at their drones or gimbals. They've already nailed things like multiple recording modes and smart tracking. So letting each lens record separately, yeah, that's totally within their wheelhouse. Oh, and let's not forget about the previously leaked performance rumors. In single lens mode, you're looking at 4K at 120 FPS with a 170 degree ultra wide field of view, or 5K at 60 FPS with a slightly narrower 155 degree FOV and in full 360 degree mode, 6K at 60 FPS, or if you want buttery slow motion, 4K at 100 FPS. So yeah, it's kind of looking like DJI might be cooking up a hybrid monster here. What do you think? Could this dual view setup actually become a real feature? Drop your thoughts below. I'd love to hear if you're into this idea or if you think it's just hype. Um, catch you in the next one. Peace.